Got it. Got it. All right. So, uh, welcome everyone, and God bless you today for being here. Thank the Lord. Thank you once again. Yes. Um, I was singing preaching last night. Or me, what'd you say? I say you did good. Did good last last night. Night. Oh, thank you. Night. Thank you. Did you uh, learn anything? Yeah. Well, okay. As long as you learn, that's why we teach. Yeah. You to learn. Yeah. Yeah. No matter how much I know, what matters how much you get and how much you grow. Yeah. And we all grow, trust me. Yeah, grow. Sometimes right while I'm teaching, you know, the Lord speaks to me. I had school yesterday. You did? How'd you do? Good. Good. Now, what school was that? Junior high? Middle school. Middle school. Yeah, we, we called it junior high, but okay, middle school. It was Slater. Oh, Slater. That was yeah. just, that's, no, let me see, Slater. Where's Slater? It's over in, uh, it's right know. down the street. From us, isn't it? No. I don't know. <laughs> Is it on Sonoma Avenue? I don't know. Yeah, let me look it up. I think Slater's. Ah. I'm pretty sure. I'm it's not. close to my, it's by my brother's school. What school did your brother go to? Montgomery. It, uh, yeah. it is. It's 35 it's on Sonoma. Sonoma. It is. Yes, yeah, it's right down the street. Your school is right down the street from the church. Yeah. Yeah. So we we passed my church yes our church yesterday. You what? We passed the church. Yeah. Yeah. So I know. I know where Slater is. Well good for you. Um I'm glad you enjoyed it and had a good time. That's important. Your, your teachers are probably we really saw the good. other school. What was that? We saw the other school. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good. All right. Well, thank you for that. And congratulations and keep up the good work just day by day. Do your homework. Do your work. I didn't get homework. What? what? Man, I used to have all kind of homework. Okay. <laughs> you got nice teachers in. Yeah. Well, I don't give homework either, so <laughs> in my Bible studies. So yeah, okay. Well, let's go ahead on and open up with scripture and prayer. Uh, who has any prayer requests? Of course, we'll keep everybody here in the prayers. Uh, keep uh, Deacon Duncan, Barmore Duncan, in your prayers. Deacon Duncan. Him and Betty Duncan and his wife, Sister Duncan. Uh, yeah, just keep keep that whole the Duncan family in your prayers. Yeah. Any others? Stormy and Treasure. Yeah. John, I don't know where John is, but John and Virgil. I don't know where um, uh -oh. Demetria went. But she, oh. I don't see anybody. Wait, wait, there she is. Okay. Um, who has scripture? I have one if nobody else does. Scripture. All right. Okay. Going and then who's going to do the prayer? I don't even know where Faith went. Uh, George, you want to pray? Or Demetria? After scripture? Oh, there's that Tanaya? Yeah, Tanaya. Oh, good. All right. Well, then there we have it. All right. 
I'm going to read 2 Timothy uh, chapter 1, verses 7 through 14. For God did not give us a spirit of timidity, but a spirit of power, of love, and of self-discipline. So do not be ashamed to testify about our Lord or ashamed of me, his prisoner. But join with me in suffering for the gospel by the power of God, who has saved us and called us to a holy life, not because of anything we have done, but because of his own purpose and grace. This grace was given us in Christ Jesus before the beginning of time, but it has now been revealed through the appearing of our Savior, Christ Jesus, who has destroyed death and has brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. And of this gospel, I was appointed a herald and an apostle and a teacher. That is why I am suffering as I am. Yet I am not ashamed because I know whom I have believed and am convinced that he is able to guard what I have entrusted to him for that day. What you have heard from me keep as the pattern of sound teaching with faith and love in Christ Jesus. Guard the good deposit that was entrusted to you. Guard it with the help of the Holy Spirit who lives in us. Blessing be to the hearing and reading of God's most holy word. Amen. Amen. Who's got prayer? Who's going to pray? I thought, to, I thought tonight I was going to pray. I thought. I don't know. Yeah. You're going to pray us in, Tanaya? Yes, I am going to pray you awesome. in. Awesome. Go ahead. Please, God, help with this whole coronavirus, you know, with amen. 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 All right. Well, okay. We are looking at... Um, well, let me get it up there, I guess. That would help. Don't you think? Let's see. Boom, boom. Come on, come on, come on. All right. Okay, so we're going to Okay, who am I admitting now? It must be John. Okay, um, can you guys see that? Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. John entered the room, admit. John, admit, John. Uh, okay, we are, we are, there it is. All right. Is that okay? Can you see that okay? Yes. Hey, Leitano. Hey, John. How you doing? Good. Good. I can't get my, my Wi-Fi messed. I can't get. I can't get my Wi. I can't get my Wi-Fi on. I keep messing up. I can't get it on. Okay. Well, as long as you're here, that's what matters. Yeah. Sorry about that. I can't get it on. Okay. Well, we're in the lesson, so. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, good to see you. Yeah. So we're looking at uh, this, we're looking at um, completion in Christ. We looked at A, scripture teaches us we who are saved are complete in Christ. That's a great Bible truth. Then B, there are three reasons we know we are complete in Christ. Um, before we look at that, well, let's look at um, First John, First John, First John, 
First John chapter five. So, first John chapter five, verse thirteen. I think so. Echoing. I've got it if you want me to read it. Let's see. Does everybody does everybody have it? Oh, yeah. Are you are you First up? John chapter five, verse thirteen. Okay, I yeah. Huh? Yeah, you can go ahead and read it. Were you, Maria? Oh, you want me to read it? Okay. I want to read. Oh, okay. Well, go ahead and read, Tanaya. I agree. Are you on just thirteen? Yeah, First John chapter five, verse thirteen. Okay. These things I have written to you who. Believe in the name of the Son of God. That yeah. Come on, come on. That. Do you have it? I mean, these things. You didn't finish it. Interrupting me. Go ahead. These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God that you may know you have eternal life and that you may continue but believe in the Son of the name of the Son of God. All right. So the thing that our lesson is talking about in B, in our lesson, it says there are three reasons we know we are complete in Christ. It's important that we know. It's important that you know. Um, Those who, let's say you have 10 cents, a dime, and you buy um, a piece of candy for a nickel, five cents. How much would you expect back? I don't know. Uh. How much would you expect back? Thank God. <laughs> you want it free, huh? No, you yeah. were saying five cents. Yeah, ten cent. You had ten cent or a dime, and you bought a piece of candy for five cent. A nickel. Nickel. A nickel. So how much would you get back? Uh, five cents? Yeah, a nickel, right? A nickel, yeah. Now, what if they gave you back a penny? Oh, uh, I don't know about any. Yeah, see, that, <laughs> you, see that, you, that's the key. You, you said, I don't know about that. When you know, when you know something, and you're right, you were right, if, if you have that, I know that if I have a dime, that, yeah, I, I John, John, you, you, it's noise in the background and that's distracting. So, um, so no, I, he's okay now. Listen, if I have a dime and I buy a piece of candy for a nickel, I expect a nickel back and my candy. Yeah. Now, if they get tried to give me a penny, I say, oh, no, I know that you should give me a nickel. 
-hmm. and not opinion. If I didn't know, then, eh, you know, the, the, like you say, I don't know. But when you know something, you're sure. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so it's important that we know that we are complete in Christ. It's important. And the reason is, is because we have an enemy. Is that enemy? Satan? Huh? Is Satan the enemy? He's one of them. There's two more. There's Satan, there's the world, and there's the flesh. Oh. Sometimes we can be an enemy to ourselves. Amen. So, um, uh, but, and so we want, we want to be sure that no matter what I'm going through, that I know that I'm complete in Christ. That's important, that assurance that we know. Okay, so uh, we're on, we read Acts 4 and 12, we talked about Jesus, no other name, Jesus is the one. And it says true, found, uh, true salvation can be found in none other than Christ Jesus. Jesus. There you go. So let's look at C. Oh, do you want me to read C? Um, yeah, you go ahead and read. Huh? Okay. Where is C? He is able to save anyone who anyone who will come to him for salvation Hebrews 725 you didn't finish okay. thanks Dawn. Demetria you want to finish you want to finish where she, the word? The word uttermost in Hebrew 7.25 means to the most vile offender. All right. So let's look at Hebrews 7.25 and see what that word uttermost looks like. Um, somebody want to read that? Yeah, I like to read 25. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 25. I can do that. Therefore, he is, is also able to save the uttermost those who come to God through him that then he always made intercession for them. All right. That's a good job. So Thank you. through him, our approach to God can be forever secured. Yeah. He continues to communicate in full to accomplish our salvation. And so mm -hmm. that word uttermost in there is the one he can save. In other words, he can save anybody. Mm -hmm. Christ wants to save everybody, but he can save anybody. Yeah. Uh, do you believe that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and uh, he has saved some people from some things that's really, really uh, bad situations, come out of ba doing bad things. Mm -hmm. um, you know, people who are uh, in prison, he saves them there. Uh, people wow. who are running corporations. He saves them there. Yeah. Um, 
you know, his salvation is free and he uh, can save the most vile offender. Y'all know what, a, what that word vile offender means? No, no. Anybody want to try? Vile what's offender. A, what's a vile offender? Huh? Yeah, find that. The worst of the worst. Yeah. Offender. Yeah, the worst of the worst. Oh. The worst of the worst. The most vile. The, the, the one who's done the worst things imaginable. Yeah. You know, we, we look at Paul, the apostle, and uh, he, um, he um, was an apostle, he turned out to be an apostle, but boy, he was a terror to Christians. He would make Christians, uh, he would hunt them down. He would chain them and make them walk all the way back to uh, Rome or wherever he was at, and have them persecuted or put to death, stoned, whatever. He was the vilest of the vile. But yet he was saved. He got saved because he was saved for God's purpose. And so that's what it means. We, the most, so don't, that's why we want to share the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ with everybody. No matter how bad their situation might be, no matter how bad it might seem, we want to tell them about Jesus. No, I got it. I got it. I just, I was hoping we could eliminate some of that, but I guess we can't. Um, so, yeah, that means Jesus can save anybody. Mm -hmm. Does somebody know what John 3.16 says? I know. God does. <laughs> That's John's favorite verse. Hold on, hold on. John, what does John 3.16 say? God never was the only God's son to be him uh, it left me life. Yeah. So. That's good, John. For God so loved the world. Yeah, the world. Everybody. Yeah. He loved everybody in the world. Not just the yeah. world, but everybody in the world. God so loved everybody in the world. And the world, too. But yeah. everybody in the world. That he gave his only begotten son, and we know that's Jesus. Yeah. That whosoever, what does that mean? What does whosoever mean? Demetria, you know? Demetria, do you know? I don't know. I don't know. How is it TV? No, you're begging. Do you know? Whosoever? Me? Oh, yeah. Are you I, still trying to talk to Demetria? No, nah, she's, she's not you, yeah. listening right now, I guess. Um, yeah, uh, Faith just put something in her mouth. She's eating something. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, go ahead, Maria. <laughs> Whosoever? Any and everybody. Yeah, it means yeah. any and everybody, whosoever, the uttermost, the most vile offender, to somebody who does good, but they just don't have Christ. So that means whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So that what it means. He's able to save anyone who will come to him for salvation. That's good news. All right, let's look at D. Who wants to read D? Me. Uh, okay. When we got it, they 
Good job. Um, let me make sure this is down because I don't want it to interrupt us. Um, yeah. So, do you know that when you were saved by Christ, that that is um, all the salvation you ever need? I mean, you got everything when you first got saved. You got everything. I mean, everything. And he said in there, one ought to grow in faith, but that's another matter entirely, and I get that. But it's like if somebody gave you a brand new uh, um, executive jet plane right now. Um, if they just gave it to you, I mean, these things cost millions of dollars. And they said, here, it's yours. And you go, okay, right? Mm -hmm. And then what would you do next? Would you go try to fly it? No. No, because you don't know how to fly. No, no, no. You don't know how to fly. You probably, <laughs> you probably go in there and just uh, chill out a little bit, you know, or, or uh, <laughs> you know, hang out until. But you, would, you know, you would have to know how to fly the thing. So it's kind of the same thing. When we get saved, we get all, we get a free gift. We get the most valuable gift in all of life and eternity, which is salvation. And, uh, but we have to grow in the knowledge and grow in our faith to really understand better what we have. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah, it's it's like we have to grow. You start out as babies, you know, in regular growth. You start out as babies. You learn how to stand a little bit. You're standing there. You're wobbling and everything else. People who are going to fall, and thank God for uh, cushions and diapers and pampers and everything else because they kind of cushion the fall. But it doesn't bother the babies. You know, as you get older, it'd be, it'd be more bothersome, but but they learn to stand and then they stand. And then the next thing they do is they try to take a step and they take a step and, and they begin to walk. Yeah. A little shaky at first, but start walking. And so it's the same thing. We Same thing as we grow in Christ, we start just learning how to stand and wobble a little bit and then Oh my goodness, next thing you know, we're standing pretty strong and then we take a step of faith, we walk. Standing is a step of faith. The walking is a step of faith. It's growth in our faith. And so uh, standing on the word of God and then living our life by faith. And so that's what he's talking about. Everything is there. Everything is already there. It's already there. It's up to us to access it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh. Well, thank you, George. I'm glad it makes sense to you. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. So let's look at uh, E. Uh, um, Faith, you want to read E? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
Observation. Observation. And isn't isn't a slow slow uh huh so um, process process but in in Instant. Instant. Yeah. New birth that comes at the moment we buy safe except. Except Christian Christ, uh huh, Christ Jesus as our sir, save Savior and only hope of. Heaven. 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 Good. Very good. Heaven. Thank you. So it's not a salvation to be saved. It's not That's a slow true. process. What he means is, is but an instant new birth. Instantly. Boom. Instantly you you get salvation. It's free. It's just instant. It doesn't you know, it's it's a moment in time, and that and, and that moment in time is very very. When you receive Christ, that's it, right? You're saved. Period. Nobody can tell you you're unsaved. You can't even get yourself unsaved. Uh, so it says, but it's an instant new birth that comes at the moment. At the moment, we, by faith, accept Jesus Christ as our Savior and our only hope of heaven. Um, so, um, what, what do you think he's saying there? What do you think is, is, tell me what you think about that statement. Salvation it is a slow process, but an instant new birth that comes at the moment we, by faith, accept Christ Jesus as our Savior and only hope of heaven. What do you think? Heaven. Heaven, for sure. Yeah. Anything, anyone else? In Christ. Yeah, except in Christ Jesus. Kind of like the birth of a new baby. I mean, they don't know how to walk and talk and eat and do all that. When they're born, they have life, but they have, you know, there's, it's a process. They have to learn and live and grow and that takes time. Yeah. When they are born, it's an instant process. Mm -hmm. When I talk about the time of labor, I'm talking about when they're born. Right. It's an instant process. Now, they don't come out with a briefcase and a suit and tie on and say, I'm ready to go to work as an executive. <laughs> they come out, you know, the first thing that has to happen, they have to wash that baby, cut the umbilical cord and wash the baby up. Because when babies come out, they don't look pretty at all. I just be honest. <laughs> I was I've seen my daughters and and I'm like, 
Uh, yeah. But then once they clean them up, then you go, oh, okay, all right, yeah. You know, but they have to clean them up. Same thing with Jesus. When we get that new birth, we just born. And he has to clean us up. And how does he do that? By, uh, uh, you know, our, um, by uh, forgiving us our sins. He washes us clean. He makes us whole. And so it happens the moment by faith. Don't, don't miss that. Hmm. By believing, by trusting and accepting Christ Jesus as our not only Savior, but Lord and Savior. And only hope of heaven. There is a hope that's attached to heaven. Did you know that? Did you know there was a, let me see if John. Let's see if he's trying to ask the non mean. Okay, I want him, want him to let me. Be. Oh, there it is. Let me see. Ask the un uh oh, he left. Okay. Uh -oh. Um. Uh, so, did you know you have a hope in heaven? What is yeah. that even saying to you, this hope of heaven? Oh. Now, it's, it, it's not just the end. You know, we know that at some point in time, we're going to go to heaven, go, go and be with the Lord forever. And that's eternal heaven. But did you know that we can experience heavenly things right now? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Grace is a heavenly thing. Love is a hair of heavenly thing. Yeah. Uh, spiritual blessings are heavenly things. Um, mercy is a heavenly thing. Uh, so we can experience forgiveness. We can experience and also we have to share those with others. That makes sense? Yeah. So those are some of the heavenly things. Um, can you think of anything else that's heavenly that, that's eternal in Christ? Mm. You can talk, talk to him in heaven. Talk to him in heaven. Yeah. You're right. Prayer. You're right. Right. Yeah. That's good, John. Yeah. Anybody else? Yeah, thank you. Well, all right. Um, let's look at F and we'll finish there. Cool. Somebody want to read it? Our salvation is complete in him. There it is. Oh, yeah. Your and my salvation there's, means complete. It means lacking nothing in Christ. It's complete. You don't need anything else. You don't need any, you don't have to do anything else. If you have faith in Christ. So just remember uh, this. Uh, he's able to save uh, anyone. Uh, if found in Christ, um, we're saved. Uh, it's found in Christ. We can. Um, Anybody can be saved. Uh, when we get, get saved, it's instant. It's the moment. 
and then we have a hope of heaven and other things and then so our salvation is complete in him we don't we, it lacks nothing in him and, and those are the things that are important so um is there anything that anyone wants to add to what we learned or what you learned today Only, oh, go ahead. Jesus. All right. Salvation is in Jesus. Go ahead. I was just going to say that our only hope of getting to heaven is by accepting Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Yes. No other way. That's good. Yeah. Is Tanaya there? Tanaya? I'm right here. Do you have anything you want to say about what you learned today? I learned about the Holy Ghost. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Faith, do you have anything you want to say about what you learned today? The new birth. Good. The new birth. Boy, that's good right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know if Demetria is there. She... I think it was Sister Diane, but I don't know if she left. Yeah, I don't know if they could hear or something. I've been talking to her and she, you know, like she's not here. I think John left. No, right he's here. here. Okay, who is that? Yeah. Me. Diane. I like faith. Salvation is the new birth. You go faith. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Salvation, Jesus. That's my all. You know, yeah, you're right. That's all I got. That's, all, that's enough. That's complete. Yeah. Land. That's complete. I'm ready in to go now. Amen. I'm getting ready to go, so I'm gonna be late. God bless y'all. Love y'all. All, right. Give me All some. right. See you soon. All right. Well, thank you guys for being here. You guys did a good job. Yeah. Great job reading and reading. Yeah. He talks to you. He talks to you in heaven too. What was that? Oh, John. Talk, John, where are you at? I don't see. Oh, let me see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He talk. He talks to you in heaven. Oh, yeah, there you John. are. He talks to you in heaven. Yeah, 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 absolutely. You hey, know, for dad. some reason, John, I thought you had logged out because right? you left off my... I went, I went here. here. Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize because I really wanted you to... Let me see. Let me yeah, see. he said I, talk, said I talked to you in heaven. Yeah, that's absolutely right. So when you pray, you talk to Jesus. Yeah. Uh-huh. And he talks back to us in a couple of ways. Sometimes yeah. he talks through our heart, and other most of the time it's through his word. Ah, yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna close out with a word of prayer and thank you guys for being here. You guys are awesome. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're just kidding. Huh? You're just kidding. You said awesome. Oh, no. Yeah, but I'm serious. You guys are. Yeah. 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 Pat yourself on the back. Say, I'm awesome. I'm awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you just you put yourself on the back. You are. So let's close with a word of prayer. Who wants to pray? Me. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Lord, they can get hurt and shooting, kill, and the fire, the hazy, and amen. Amen. Be yeah. tonight. Thank you. All right. Prayer tonight. Prayer. Uh, you, know, you know what? Sunny or fire up last Sunny or fire up last Sunny up. Then pardon me. Fire up. Oh, fire up. What? Really? Yeah, you were. You're pleasing. You're pleasing. You're pleasing. You're pleasing the wood. Yeah. Pleasing the wood. <laughs> That's right. You're right. <laughs> All right. You guys have a good rest of your day. Okay. Bye. Hey, cool. Hey, cool. Okay.